Great job, Nikki. You should always buckle your seatbelt before you go on a car ride. Yeah, and you have to make sure your seatbelt is nice and secure, not behind your head or back. Great. And no matter how short your car ride is, you should always make sure your seatbelt is buckled. There have been because there have been incidents when people have gotten hurt just from pulling out of the driveway. So even if you're just going down the block, you should still buckle your seatbelt. There's no such thing as too short a car ride. Shouldn't you get in the back? Why? It's just the front seat. Because there are things in the front right there called airbags that inflate or fill up with air when you get in a car accident. And they can hurt younger kids. Oh, so I guess only adults and teens can sit in the front? That's right. Now how about you get in the back? Okay. I learned a lot about car safety today. Yeah, like how you should always buckle your seatbelt no matter what. And how adults and teens should only should be the only people allowed to sit in the front seat. Right. Car safety is just as important as math or reading. Let's go spread the word about car safety. That's a great idea. You can help too. You can tell your friends about how important it is to buckle your seatbelt and sit in the back. We even made a little song to help you remember all the great information we learned today. One, two, three. The back, back is where it's at. The back is where it's cool. The back is where you should be when your mom drives you to school. The seatbelt is your friend. Before you ride, you click. And if you buckle your seatbelt, all your friends will think you're slick. Bye. See ya. See you later. Wait, where are we starting at? This <laughs> is not going too well. Right. We'll add bloopers in the end. People like bloopers. Yeah, we like, the blo we like bloopers.